Hello and welcome back, lovely Taurus. And thank you for tuning in. I hope all is well with you, Taurus. Let's jump in. So Taurus, this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. This is going to be for May, from today, May 8th. So Taurus, we're going to start with the Wisdom of the Oracle. This is going to be a general message for anyone who has Taurus placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. So Taurus, we have Jupiter entering your sign on the 16th. It'll be there until 2024, around May. This is going to be, Taurus, a time where Jupiter, okay, brings in faded events. A turning point is here. It's destiny that's here. So for the next year, there's going to be some life cycles that are changing. It's going to require your determination. It's going to require your patience. It's going to be something that is based on your values, okay? Money, your stability. It's going to mean you're going to have to take a leg up and get ready to move. So number 34, master number three, master number four. This is going to be something that's working. Number three is the feeling of teamwork, taking the initial fulfillment, taking the next step, getting ready to learn, to collaborate, getting ready to move forward. So Taurus, this is also a feeling here of what you're moving towards is going to be security, coming into something for which is stable, stability. This is going to be something here, like I feel for some of you, a new home, Taurus, could be here. So this is going to bring in a certain completion. Three plus four is a seven. So Taurus, I see the polar bear here, okay? You can look up what is the spiritual meaning of the polar bear, or this could be your spirit animal. For some of you, Taurus, you have children. There's a baby polar bear that's coming along for this ride. So for some of you, you are a mature individual. You're a family, uh, woman or man. Number four, again, so you have higher power. This is your third eye, if you look at this. Your third eye is opening here. So you have a vision that you are seeing here, and it's a very clear vision. You're connected to higher power, which is source creator, God, okay? This tells me that you are in touch with your intuition. You have access, okay? to the unseen. This is being in like the feeling of the high priestess. You have a deeper knowing now. You're connected to higher timelines, which gives you a higher power now. So Taurus, you're stepping up, like I feel on your spiritual uh, path here. You're definitely going through an awakening here and doing things by the book. We see the elephants, which bring in good luck here. You also have number 11. So for some of you, Taurus, okay, your birthday could be on the 4th or the 11th. For some of you, this is doing things in a relaxed way. The elephants never forget anything. They have a memory, right? So there's something here about you getting ready, like I felt, to pursue something here and using that ambition and drive. So taking the responsible steps to do things accordingly doing it by the books like whatever it is it's legit okay and look at this soulmates are here so we have two uh penguins and this is number 41 another four so we definitely see that the fours are here there's a stable soulmate this is the penguins they say once they mate they mate for life so we have the penguins here and this is about the two of cups unified love is here a relationship a partnership a sacred union coming into harmony something that's stable so for some of you there's a commitment on the table i feel that for some of you taurus okay you are getting ready fours also are the emperor energy so it feels like you have a very strong masculine <clears throat> that is coming in and you're about to make a great change I feel that whatever it is, Taurus, you have a higher power to connect with this person. 
So like you're reading this person's minds, like the both of you are ready for this next step in life, okay? And it's going to be things that are going to be for like, I feel the next year, this is like long-term standing connections that you are coming into right now. Whatever it is, Jupiter is going to bring in expansion and growth. So it's going to bring in a turning point in your life. I feel whatever's happening now is going to be something that's changing you. It's a life-changing event. But I feel like your higher self is stepping in. Your over soul is stepping in. Higher power. You're connected to the divine. That's what I feel, Taurus. <clears throat> it's a beautiful energy. And soulmates, love is here. Now, Taurus, your ruler Venus moved into the sign of cancer where love is in the air. It's going to be there, I believe, until June 5th. So let's see what's coming in for Taurus for May 2023. This is going to be in love and in general messages. We're going to clarify, okay, what this start of the leg up looks like. And then we'll move towards that soulmate connection. We'll clarify if we need to. But let's shuffle. This is for Taurus. Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. For May 2023. <clears throat> Taurus. This is for Taurus. Collective. For May 2023. There's going to be some big shift shifting from the North Node and the South Node in astrology. So do keep up. Like I feel, if you're following astrology, this is a good time. The new moon in Taurus is happening on the 19th of this month, May. So you have enough time to prepare for the new moon. This new moon is going to bring in an epiphany. This is going to be like a feeling here where you could be having an epiphany, seeing a vision, right? The new moon is also a time during that two and a half to three day period, okay? To either, like I felt, it's like take it easy. When that three days comes, that's when you're connected with God. That is when the Christ fluid, the sacred fluid, the Christ, the Christos fluid flows through your brain, right? Your third eye. And it's like your eye is single and it sees, right? It's the all-seeing eye here, which is connected, like I felt, to something you're going to get a vision that's going to bring in. It's something that is, is, is remarkable in a way that it's about yourself. It's about the power that you have within yourself now to create something that is going to be your, like I felt, it's like you taking the lead with that feeling here of four. Taking the authority, creating a foundation, creating a structure here is what I feel. Eight of Wands, and it's about to happen fast. So Eight of Wands tells me that this is going to be, like I feel, this is a spiritual awakening for you. This is all cards of spirit, right? The Wands, Eight of Wands means fast, suddenly unexpected change that's happening. I feel this could mean you could be traveling right now. This could be movement, making a swift change right now is what I feel, Taurus. And it could mean it's unexpected. For some of you, this is receiving messages back and forth. And it could have to do with long distance travel. But let's see what's coming in for Taurus. The first card. Taurus, your first card out of the gate. Stepping into your higher self. So Taurus, the Hierophant, this is your card. This is a major arcana. It represents the Pope. Pope in language stands for Papa, right? So you're connecting with Father God here, okay? This is you stepping into your higher self now, your calling. This is about the how, your belief systems. This is about your identification. This is about your commitment, family, and Libra, wow. So Taurus, you got three of swords here with justice. <clears throat> it's like choked up. I'm a little bit choked up. For some of you, you can be very choked up of, of what is about. Like I feel the situation, you're in this situation where something was done that was very unfair to you, Taurus. 
Three of Swords is a feeling here of injustice right next to it. You have Libra, which is also ruled by Venus. You're surrounded from your left to your right. You're surrounded with this higher power that is protecting you. But it feels like right in the middle of this whole energy where you are now, you had somebody here that wanted to rip your heart out. Three of Swords. Heartache and pain. Now, for some of you, this is justice. This means that there was definitely a feeling of unfairness that was here. It feels like something here that happened was definitely a situation where you experienced some ups and downs, okay, just now. And the causes were where justice comes in, which is, again, another higher source card, which speaks about karma, the laws of karma. So there is a swift change here that's changing everything. I feel Taurus right now when it comes to family or commitment or marriage, there is definitely a painful separation. For some of you, it involves a legal court issue. For some of you, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a, a legal dispute. It's a feeling here of, what's going on right now is a court case or a, de a divorce, a separation for some of you, for some of you it is. I feel that right now there is a feeling here of you wanting justice in a situation here, okay? That's what I'm feeling, Taurus. Yeah. And the Pope is also, like I, like I say, if you, from the book of Matthew, Matthew says, call no one father except your father in heaven right because this is the pope coming in and there was something here that was definitely done to us like i feel in a situation for some of you like i feel you have a very strong uh commitment to your family or a marriage and it feels like you're getting ready to take off you're getting ready to travel you're getting ready to take a stand mercury energy so we have a uh, Gemini or a Virgo energy here and page of swords. It feels like someone's keeping tabs on you, Taurus. Somebody's watching you. For some of you, high priestess is right there. Look, higher powers, like I was feeling your higher self is coming in. You know something fishy is going on here. You know that there could be a child. This could be a child of yours. Somebody here that is very, like I felt, creating um calamity i'm hearing calamity yeah trouble okay somebody here that's coming at you like i feel because they know who you are you're the high priestess you're a psychic you're a tarot reader you're into the metaphysics <clears throat> you also know what's hidden behind the veil here so you knew all along what was happening here okay Taurus is what I feel. It feels like with this magician energy, there was manipulation here. There was definitely being manipulated here. Someone here tried to manipulate you, but you took a stand, magician energy, and you gained self-control in the situation. And I feel now you're using your resources, Taurus, and you're taking action here. There's something about you taking swift action. Now, let's see what happened in the past here for Taurus. For Taurus. King of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Could be a father figure, doesn't have to be. Knight of Wands and Three of Wands. I feel that there was definitely a situation here, Taurus, in the past where you had somebody here that was returning to you like from the past a past situation there was also somebody here that you tested the waters with this person and it feels like this person saw you turning your back and and leaving it was like you stopped waiting on this person you had a higher insight this person was inconsistent they were in and out okay this person I feel to not prioritize this connection, Taurus. This could be somebody here that, that was very hot-headed, right? Uh, and then Knight of Swords, okay? So there was a sense of rushing in here, all right? A feeling of, of rushed-in communication, um, 
a feeling here of definitely, yeah. And Knight of Pentacles. You got three knights here. The Knight of Cups is not here. So there's something about definitely in the past here, okay? When it came to romance, right? And love with the Knight of Cups not being here. Somebody here was very insensitive. They didn't come in being sensitive. Somebody here just rushed in, rushed at you. When you're doing all the hard work, Knight of Pentacles, you're the hardworking one. So there's something you put the brakes on, Taurus, in the past here, okay? So we'll see. Let's see what the near future is bringing in. Scorpio energy. So that's South Node in Pluto. And it feels like this is the change. It flew up there. That's, that's the change. So you're cleaning house, Taurus. Scorpio energy is death and rebirth here. There's something here that's changing. And it's going to be a huge transformation. Pluto with the South Node right now is going to be also shifting. So there's some big shifts that are going to be taking place right now. I feel that you are evolving, Taurus. There's something here about you releasing, okay? Yeah, and Knight of Swords. It's like you're getting ready to end something. You're getting ready to release something, Taurus. You could be dealing with an air sign and four of wands. Aries, Leo, Sad. You could be in a situation where something's going to make you move very fast. It could be a a move from a home. It could be um, a situation where you're jumping on this. It's like this is going to change everything. And there's a situation like we were seeing all the fours, right? It's like getting ready to take a leg up and getting ready to take action and getting ready to make a physical move. For some of you, this is a new home. For some of you, this is going to be great abundance that's opening up for you, Taurus. And it means like in an area where this home is blessed, right? You're, it's like you're connecting care. You're making some massive changes with the with Scorpio endings. And it's going to mean for some of you, you're going to take quick action on it. It's like something here that you don't want. Yeah, you're making a judgment. And it's bringing in a rebirth. It's like a start over. So you're rebuilding a home or remodeling a home. Or you're making a decision when it comes to your stability, number four, right? For some of you. So it feels like there's a big cleanup going on when it comes to your home situation. The four of wands. Um, it's also a connection that is aligned to a relationship where there's a sacred union. There's a sacred union here. Okay. Number four, judgment. Someone's returning from the past, Taurus, that you thought was done. This person's coming back in. And now I also feel there's going to be a judgment, a rebirth here that's taking place. You got the angels blowing the horns here, Taurus. There is definitely a sounding of horns here where there's a major change. So let's see. What is the soulmate? Please clarify the soulmate card, Spirit. What is the soulmate card? The soulmate is Nine of Swords. So it feels like there's definitely sleepless nights. It's right underneath that Three of Swords. There's a separation, a heartache, a pain, nightmares, anxiety, Nine of Swords, and a soulmate connection. Someone's suffering from deep anguish. Someone's having nightmares. Could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Two more cards for the soulmate. Queen of Pentacles. So, Taurus, I feel that you are very devoted and caring to the soulmate. You're Queen of Pentacles. You're, you have the energy here of caring, nurturing, grounded, stable, committed. And it feels like you're in a soulmate connection here, okay, where you're, heal you're healing. You're committed to your healing. You're very down to earth. You're very mature. You know that you're you're definitely got the the pentacle on your lap, so you're committed. Okay, you're very committed to this soulmate connection. One more, you care about this soulmate connection. Moon, you care about them, and you know that with the moon and the three of pentacles, there is something here that you're fearing is not going to work anymore. Moon, Cancerian, Pisces, three of pentacles. There's a sense of 
deep anguish, right? Because there's fear around the moon. So, and the three of pentacles, there's a feeling of insecurity within this soulmate connection. So there's a sense of anxiety, okay? And you're trying to put it behind you, Taurus, because the moon is behind you in the three of pentacles. You're trying to put this behind you now. <clears throat> you're trying to, and you're trying to walk away, eight of cups. You're trying to resist this connection, even though you still care for this person. You're in a soulmate connection. And it feels like whatever it is, this could be a, a loved one. Doesn't have to be a relationship, but I'm kind of feeling it is. But you're getting ready to walk away. It's like you're putting things behind you now, even though it's emotionally hard. But you're giving yourself the energy that you need to self-care. And to start healing from this three of swords that you've gone through. Some of you are a mother figure here. Okay. Let's see what this um, leg up is. Yeah. I feel the leg up is this. With the scorpionic energy. You're making changes when it comes to your residence or your home. For some of you. What's this leg up? For some of you, you're a teacher. Yeah. You know that this is going to be making you so happy. Ten of Cups. For some of you, this involves a family dynamic. Ten of Cups. You're going to be so happy. It's like if you've been in this position where you're feeling stuck, hangman, Pisces, Neptune, energy, a feeling here, you just need to let go. I feel you just need to let go. You could have been feeling restricted in an area or feeling like um, there was something that you needed to see, that you didn't see before, and now you're getting ready to move. Pisces energy heavily here. Yeah, and there it is, Jupiter. Yeah, you're definitely moving, Six of Swords. So for some of you, you're getting ready to make a move. Now, Six of Swords is also seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. Having clarity, knowing the direction to move towards and letting go. Like I felt for some of you, this feels like a situation leg up. Now you could be letting go because I have the emperor on the deck here now and Jupiter and Sag. For some of you, there's going to be like I feel major arcana when it comes to this leg up. For some of you, you're headed in a direction of destiny, right? Mars and Aries and Sag and Jupiter. So this is a feeling of destined events that are out, ready to play out. You are creating some kind of a structure. Mars energy is yang energy. So this is a strong, independent energy of getting ready to take action. With Jupiter moving in your chart, it's go time. So this could be, like I feel, a situation where you're getting a promotion. You're getting ready for a masterpiece. Jupiter is supporting you now. These are life-changing events, Taurus. This is going to be what's unfolding, a brand new beginning that's here for you. For some of you, it could mean travel for work or it could mean relocating. For some of you, you have a date with destiny here. You have someone, Taurus, that is showing up here, like I feel, with this energy of a masculine, number four, like I was feeling, is coming in, like I feel, Getting ready to make a sacrifice. Getting ready to move forward, right? So let's see what this higher power is. Very strong masculine energy that's coming towards you. What's this higher power? Nine of Pentacles, that's you, Taurus. So you have your feet grounded. Nine of Pentacles is humble. It's goodwill. It's kindness. It's obedience. It's... It's a feeling of charitable, being very gifted on several levels. This is a feeling of successful, independent. This is a feeling of investing your energy in yourself, doing what comes natural to you here, having a gift here, right? So for a lot of you, this is definitely an independent business with this higher power, you could be a light worker, 1111, page of pentacles. There it is. I feel this vision has to do with an opportunity of work. 
The pages can be a new opportunity that's unfolding in the material world. That brings in great success. This is, could be a new job. It could be a new opportunity that brings in finances. For some of you, one more. The higher self is you. And whoa, tower moment. This is going to be, like I feel, Taurus, you're having a third eye awakening. This is a crown chakra. This is a crown chakra activation, higher power coming in. This is about the tower bringing in a revelation to you. There's going to be a major changing. This is like a disruption, shifting your old world apart to bring in the new inventive. Like your new invention is you. You've reinvented yourself, Taurus. You're nine of pentacles now. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're single. It's a feeling, if you're not, it's a feeling here of you independently, right? Going through stepping in your higher self now. And this is about luxury. This tower is bringing in a major change, Scorpio energy. So this is going to bring in a feeling of a sudden change. And I feel there is going to be a lot. Yeah, this brings in a new career change for some of you. Yeah, you're breaking out of the Eight of Swords. If you were feeling trapped or tied down or feeling restricted, the tower's coming in to clear your way. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. What it is to buy the book, number 11? You got 1111 11 here. You're seeing the numbers 1111, 11, Taurus. For some of you, you know that, like I feel, there are, you're a teacher, Taurus, spiritual teacher. You're, you are the hierophant. You have a lot of wisdom and knowledge here. I feel for a lot of you, Taurus, now you're in alignment with your beliefs, your identity, you're connecting to source God. So that means that Taurus, you're, 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 you're at the point where you can see the face of God shining on you. Two of Swords by the book. So the Two of Swords is a feeling of blocking something here. There's a stalemate energy, okay? There's a feeling here of being at a crossroads. Queen of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands is fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. The Queen of Wands is someone who's in touch with the occult. The occult means to uncover what was hidden, right? The Queen of Wands is very much in touch with um, mysticism, esoterics. The Queen of Wands with the Two of Swords is something you've been working on that you know you've been doing it by the book, right? You know that you are in touch, filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Filled, right? So you have the confidence now, Taurus, the self-confidence to make a bold step and to break out of this Two of Swords, okay? Where I feel that you are not blocking, you're not, you're unblocking, you're getting your mojo back to take action with the Queen of Wands. So there is definitely something you're taking action on. Yeah, and that's what you're taking action on. Look at this. New hat, new shoes, new boots, new outfit. Who you, Taurus. You're taking action on breaking free from old beliefs. You got a whole new outlook and you're headed towards cha-ching, cha-ching. Ten of Pentacles. Your eyes are focused on the prize. Do not quit, Taurus. Head towards the Ten of Pentacles. This is leaving a wealth of family, knowledge, and wisdom for generations to come. This is about creating an inherit a ten of pentacles as an inheritance of success. This is about earthy, rich, productive ten of pentacles. A new beginning page of wands that you're starting a new journey. This is the new Taurus. There you're headed. You're breaking out of this place, okay? Like I felt, you don't need anyone's approval where you're going, Taurus. You're going here. So it feels like you're very focused on your family, Ten of Pentacles. You're starting a new beginning here. It's a feeling of excitement, ready to explore your new options 
and doing it by the book. Like I feel, you're too legit to quit now. That's what I feel, Taurus. You're headed towards it. You're too legit. You have the skills, the talent, the passion, Taurus, that it takes to build an empire with the Ten of Pentacles. That's an empire that you're creating here. So I love it, Taurus, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords. <laughs> New beginning with clarity, knowing the direction, and having the awareness to take action on a golden opportunity, doing it by the book, right? Very wise. I'm going to leave the reading there. I hope this reading helped, Taurus. It's lovely to see you back again. I missed you all bunches. Happy birthday, my loves. Thank you.